We arrive at an opportune moment, everybody. Uh, these stories just got shouted at uh, exceedingly loudly. Uh, they weren't intentionally uh, rude, but the lady uh, and the boy, <laughs> girl rather actually, uh, decided to have a little stroll into the archway, as one does. And uh, yeah, the officers were not too pleased about that. Uh, luckily, the trooper, uh, who is the gatesman, was the gatesman yesterday. Okay. Now, why is that a good thing? Well, uh, not only has he got a fine voice, but he's very meticulous in terms of people transgressing into the archway. So the second they uh, they stick their nose round, or in fact stick anything round, he uh, he deals with it pretty firmly. Now, it's actually uh, a funny thing being here on a Thursday. Today is Thursday. Why? Uh, because I haven't been here on a Thursday since, get ready for it folks, last year. Ooh, it is windy. They could almost rename this the wind tunnel. Wow, 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 wow. Let's escape out here. It is crazy windy in the tunnel. Uh, and they've decided to build a car park, everybody. Um, apparently the MFD is quite tight for money, uh, having given most of it to Ukraine. Uh, so they've decided to sell off part of Horse Guards Parade um, and NCP, National Car Parks, uh, decided to buy a little spot uh, to let VIPs park their cars and vans and other things here in the back, which is a bit unfortunate, uh, but I guess it could be worse. I mean, apparently they're thinking about selling off Trafalgar Square to make that a car park as well. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, today we haven't had bipolar weather. Uh, we, today we've had pretty much quadripo uh, quadripolar weather. Uh, it's been raining, it's been sunny, it's been dark, it's been pretty much everything really. Uh, warm and then cold, etc, etc, all over the place. To give you an idea, even though it looks lovely, you can see how much water is sitting on the ground from this morning. And I don't know what's going to happen, people. I mean, we've got massive rain clouds and the forecast is for moody rain they're still busy over there putting the uh, the stands up ready for trooping the color and the uh, musical spectacular and I'm quite happy about that actually to be honest uh, because <laughs> I booked a trip foreign trip yesterday and only after I booked it did I suddenly remember oh I have tickets for trooping the color and then the military musical spectacular I really hope they're not on the same day. Remarkably, uh, my return journey uh, is on the day after. Sorry, my return journey is on the day before. In other words, the day after I get back is, uh, is the day it gets interesting. Yep, so I get back and then the following day, so I'm gonna have to run from, uh, from the airport, get some rest and then hopefully be over here for that military musical spectacular. Uh, I don't think, realistically, um, we're going to have a lot of people getting shouted at in the archway. I really don't. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> by the time you've uh, watched this video, you would have seen the video with, uh, with the massive shout, which was kind of an interesting one because it was really, really unexpected. And as it was the only massive shout of the day, uh, it was something of a minor miracle uh, that I just happened to be right in front of the archway when it occurred. Notice at the front, compared to at the back of the tunnel, at the front here, it's lovely. It is super bright and sunny. And uh, interestingly, folks, this is the first time that I started a video for a long time uh, without even bothering to look at the horses. Why do I not look at the horses? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Let's go and see if we can get a, a little bit of a peek and figure out who we've got. I have no idea if we'll have different ones to yesterday. I'm pretty sure Talisker will not be back on yet. If I can actually get close enough. Kind of wandering along in space. Oh, who's this beauty? Wait, is this not the interesting looking one we saw coming in yesterday? I think it is. Hold on. Oh, I'm sure it is. Let's get the hoof number and find out. I think this is a new one, people. Okay, right, right. Which one you So, let's have a look. I'm pretty sure it's a new one. It's not a horse that I immediately recognise, and I think yesterday we spotted a horse with very unusual markings coming in. I'm pretty sure this is it. There's the uh, the full body shot for all of you uh, equestrians. I'd love to see all of it. Let me see if I can uh, 
name this magnificent creature. Flipping out. Talk about an odd number. It looks like it's uh, some kind of weird Roman numeral uh, followed by an actual number. This one's going to be a bit tricky. One second, let's have a look. That's a very curious number. I'm seeing there's anything like it, I think. Um, it's a really hard one, actually. But the name kind of makes sense, weird enough. Okay, I'm going to state this with about sort of 95% certainty because one of the digits is a real pain. Um, I'm pretty sure this horse is called Vortex. Okay, which would kind of be appropriate. I don't know why, but it just it just fits. Uh, and from what I can make out, comparing other possibilities with a second digit, yeah, it's it's a real tricky one. This, but I'm pretty sure, folks. If anyone knows better, um, and I know one or two of you, no names mentioned, sometimes do know a little better than I do, even, uh, especially if you happen to be civilian riders. Then let me know in the comments. But yeah, my money's on Vortex. Uh, and this is a stunning horse. The main reason being, he is a completely different colour uh, to all of the other ones. The other ones are all Cav Blacks. This is a Cav Brown. He's actually completely brown. I don't know why he's completely brown, but he is. And more importantly, I say he, I can't even tell actually. Oh, a bit of a clopper. More importantly, that real sort of... Uh, is it a, even a blaze? What do we call that, guys? Is it actually like some kind of sort of smudged blade? I don't think we've seen a single horse that's got exactly that marking uh, on its forehead ever. And this is part of the reason why I was hoping, secretly, uh, we'd get to see this horse. Because, again, it's one I've never seen before. And I hadn't even, to be honest with you guys, uh, noticed that there was a horse called Vortex on the list. Yep. So uh, a rare privilege to see Vortex. Lots of people. Uh, but they're keeping the distance, so I have no idea if Vortex is a biter, a nibbler, curious, a softy. No cue, and no uh, clue. Let's see, one second. He doesn't seem to mind being touched. Oh, curious, I think, more than a nibbler. Oh, right. put her fingers in his nose. I really hope I'm right, but yeah, I'm, I'm reasonably certain, as certain as one can be without actually uh, asking the trooper. Plus for some reason that mark on his forehead actually looks like a vortex, doesn't it? He seems pretty chill, to be honest, which uh, has to be a good thing, folks, am I right? Now why are questions, is, is his coat so different? He, uh, if I didn't know better, almost looks like the, <laughs> the police bays. He's got a bay colour. Bro is terrified, look. If the horse sneezes, this guy's going to have a heart attack. <laughs> he just <laughs> rolled his eyes to the right. It's really not that scary. I mean, yesterday on the corner, that situation with... Uh, with the police officer having to physically put himself between the uh, back of the horse and the tourist. That was genuinely scary, yeah. If that horse had kicked, goodness knows. Fatalities, possibly. Scary stuff. The other trooper at the other end, um, I think he's on a horse we saw yesterday. I will have a look shortly because got about 30 or 40 minutes. Somebody shouting, don't touch. Let's, uh, let's score this clown if he says it again. One second. I don't actually know who it was that shouted it. Somebody coming along the street just shouted, don't touch. Did you hear that? I'm not sure if it was Escobar Jr.'s dad or not. Let's find out in a minute. Oh, it's easy top in the house. I swear I've seen this guy on the right before. Either that or he's got a twin cousin also from Mississippi. Oh, 
little baby just said don't touch it. <laughs> Why is it that so many people seem to think they can uh, march along and dictate the rules to other tourists? It's very curious. You know, I might pass judgment in my videos, but you guys know that unless somebody does something super overtly disrespectful, I never try and tell anyone what to do. It's not my business. Very curious. He's getting a lot of attention actually though, Vortex. In fact, probably too much attention. The other horse has uh, decided he doesn't want to work today. Look. Let's see what happens now. Look, Tori is still standing. The horse is in the middle of the road. Funny, he was a bit cloppy before, but he's not in a good mood. And the toys are still standing there. Look, lucky the police told them to get out of the way. I'm not sure if the guard's going to take the horse through the gate or what's going to happen here, but it's a bit of a surprise. Of course, he's not a happy one at all. And if anyone says, hey, get back you, i.e. me, guys, I'm super far back. I'm at 1.2 zoom right now, and I'm a good 15 feet plus away from the horse. How's about that? The trooper backed him into the box single-handedly whilst holding a sword. Magnificent. Well done, that man. Now, which horse is it, guys, that had a meltdown? Could it be Glorious Talisker again? I really hope it's not, but let's have a quick peek, see if I can get that hoof number. He's a bit of a stubborn on this. Ah, uh, is it Talisker? I can't remember. Let's have a quick look, one second. Brilliant job by the trooper. I mean, absolutely brilliant. The problem is he's put the horse way back in the box now and uh, unless he brings the hoof back out, I can't see the hoof number, one second. I think I've got it. People laughing, still trying to grab the reins and so on, even while the uh, horse is in the middle of a minor meltdown. Oh, here he comes again. Myself behind the bollards, just in case. Oh. He's not going to settle down, is he, this one? I wonder where he's going to end up. Sorry guys, I can still have got the hoof number. Please come out. Same officer as yesterday, actually, they put himself uh, in between the horse and the tourists. Right, let's get that hoof number. Is it Utah? Oh, it's back in the box. I think it's the one that had the meltdown yesterday. But I can't see the number though, it's too dark. The thing is, once they change over shortly, if if the horse is still on the horse, the horse is coming out. <laughs> he's gonna. Oh, there we go. Look, he's gonna make a run for it now. The box is open. <laughs> I think it was the first time this horse was on yesterday. I really think the horse is gonna make a run for it, guys. I really do. And do I go through the gate or do I stay at the front? Ah, it's a tough choice. I'll be really surprised if uh, if this horse manages to stay on duty in the box. If I can, I'll get the hoof number, but it's real tricky because look, when the hoof, when the foot is in the shade, it's uh, it's super difficult to get it cleanly. Right, got it, one second, let's have a quick look. No, it's not Talisker. According to my list, this is Sangin and Mare. Yeah, that's... Yep, that's confirmed. Sangim. Definitely a mare. Now the question is, with the changeover imminent... With the changeover imminent, is... Uh, is the horse going to stay in the box or uh, do a runner again? Now the doors are open at the back. I personally... I think the horse is going to go back into the yard. Ah, what do I do? It's so packed at the front. Let's have a quick look, folks. I noticed there were uh, there were two troopers out and about. They just popped back in. There were two troopers out and about, which leads me to believe that they're probably thinking Sangin might not last till the end of the shift. Let's see. It's a 50-50. I mean, I could be the other side. Nothing might happen. The thing is, it's so busy at the front that if the horse does bolt back into the yard, I won't be able to quickly just run around the corner through the gate. Too many people. I mean, look at it. Look. 
constant traffic. I do think, and again, this is purely on instinct after what we saw yesterday, that when the bell tolls and the new horses come out, that is typically when the horse has a bit of a meltdown and decides, you know what, I want to go with my buddies, even though the new horses are going to the front. That's what I think. So I'm happy to stay in the yard. I'm also going to stay on the corner, folks, because we've got uh, a major change coming up shortly. So Vortex and Sangin. Uh, oh, Sangin, Sangin. Ears are moving. Is that a coincidence? Oh my God, now the other horse is clopping away in the box. Only one time ever, folks, when we've been here filming, have we had both horses have a meltdown and leave the boxes. But it's inevitable will happen again. Notice as well, they've doubled up on the officers. They've got four officers. Even though they haven't actually yet begun the changeover, Oh, there we are. Gates being closed. See, officer again doing uh, his civic duty and making sure the toys are safe. Ay, yeah, yeah. It's funny, guys, because until yesterday, it was always the other box where the horse would have a major meltdown. And there's still tourists getting in the front look to try and get a picture. This guy in the blue jacket. Unbelievable. Look at how many people are flooding through the yard. Yikes. Whoa. That is a torrent. That is a tourist torrent. Goodness gracious. Let's see. There was always that box. Now it's this one. Yesterday and again today. Like what on earth? Yesterday you were lucky. No, that was real close. I thought I could take... It, it did kick, I thought, at least I got my arm and, you know, and... Uh, yeah, but you would have gone flying, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, That's I, a I massive wouldn't, horse. I wouldn't have wanted that, but I was concerned for the kids yep. behind the horse. That was yep. my main concern. Was that was it? a scary moment, to be honest, because they didn't run. Most people no, normally run, there's a massive horse running towards yeah. them, but... I was just concerned for the, the kids and the public. And um, rightly so. Has this one come out of the box yet, or being pretty good? Be, uh, <laughs> 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 oh, goodness me. Right, there you are folks, so you have it. He is a lovely chap, very sincere. Okay, the yard is now being cleared and sealed. We're going to stay here. I don't think, in all honesty, that Sangin is going to run out the front of the box. Look at the horse's body language. Pretty much just bolted himself into the corner. Oh, now he's seen me. <laughs> he's like, I want to go back into the yard. Okay, let's get myself on the line like a good boy. I don't think anyone else is going to come onto this corner, which is brilliant news for me. If the horse bolts out to the front, tough I guess, we'll miss it. Oh great, yeah the horse is back at the front again, obviously, because <laughs> just my luck. Right, let's have a quick look around the corner guys, look, the horse is having a little bit of uh, Wait, we can probably pop the camera through the fence. Here we are, look. There we are. How's that for a unique, uh, a very unique view uh, viewpoint? We've never filmed it from here. Anyway, meanwhile, two new horses. I was so hoping we might get Ormond, folks, but alas, no. For one second, I thought oh, it's Ormond, but then I realized four Boxing white socks, not three. Swords. Poor Sang, you know. Not a happy beast. Anyway, meanwhile, let's just pop those two on the list. So we said Vortex and Sangin. I think there might well be a part two today, folks, because uh, we've seen two new horses at once. Well, I do these two new ones in a second. hoping Sangin is going to be pretty chill coming out now the new horse is approaching but he's or she rather it's a mare is clopping around like crazy yep can you hear that floppy clop at the front that's not a happy horse hopefully the trooper can bring her around and uh, and back into the stable area
It's amazing though, isn't it, guys, how they pretty much always settle down once they're through the gates and they know they're on the way back to the stables. You know, they're not sort of kicking off running down the street. It's basically just a little bit of a meltdown. I'm done, I don't want to work anymore. Take me back. Oh, look, see, look, perfectly and calmly trotting back to the stables. Like nothing happened. So Sangin at the front, everyone, but who just had the mini meltdown. And Vortex, glorious Vortex at the back. Vortex is a real unique beauty, actually. Incredible. Uh, I don't know, having only been here for a little while, whether or not we're doing a, a gatesman chitsman change. Nope, I don't think we are because everyone's moving. I think we're good. Yeah. Let's head back to the front and uh, see if we can spot the new ones. <laughs> You see some, uh, <laughs> some of the officers are like, hey, all right. they're just not, uh... oh god, here we go. Oh, this is a little Chinese fashion show. Oh, she's praying to the horse. If we zoom out, we might actually be able to get a little bit more in the frame. <laughs> one second, folks, and we'll, uh, we'll ID this one. It wasn't the same one yesterday, it's another one. It's funny because it's always that. And now it's always the same. Oh, more happy tourists. Let's see if we can figure out who it is. It is Rand, the guys, again. Look. Wow. Yeah, I think we're going to end up with uh, lots of blonde hair in the frame. Uh, made on YouTube. Uh, I watched, I watched clips. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it could be. There are lots of us that film here. Uh, one second. Nah, I don't use it anymore. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Is that not Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad woman. That was actually literally a year ago this week. Oh, Chap. Sorry, I'm trying to film Chap. You're right in the front. I'm not sure what she's aiming for. <laughs> Seems a bit confused. Vexed. <laughs> Slipping out, guys. It hasn't been this busy here for ages. One second, let me move away from the other people that are filming. The horse guy is just Wombat, uh, return of Wombat, who was here yesterday. It's definitely Wombat. We'll have a look at the other end with the lady trooper in just a moment. If I can actually uh, 
find the space to get out of here. It is rammed again. I was hoping today would be a little bit quieter, a little bit more civilised than yesterday, but it seems not. Let me see if I can get in front. The yard is actually not bad at all. It's really just the front with the two horses being massively crowded. Once I got the name of this one, we've got uh, we've got all of them over here. Oh, hold on a second, folks. <laughs> Oh, it's a cheeky nipper, but I don't recognise this horse. I'm going to see if we can figure it out. Covering everyone with slather. Cheeky nipper in the house. Oh god, the numbers are messy again as well. Really, really dark. Which nipper is this, I wonder? Is a blue horse. It's got RHGD on the uh, on the right hoof. One second. Ah, it's TA, guys, through Massey Ankara. I've seen this horse here for ages. And even all of you that were writing on yesterday's list about the, the T horses, I don't think anybody remembered this horse. It's been a long time since uh, since we saw this horse here. Tumasi Ankara, people. Uh, or TA as he's known to the troopers. I don't remember him being a particularly nippy horse, but he is today. <laughs> Either that or he's trying to tickle the tourists. He's a tickler. He's really big. I mean, physically, he has got some massive bulk to him. We're talking Monty sort of size here. Giant wide horse. With a very fluffy forelock. He's doing that chicka 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 noise with the bit rolling around. Okay, so if we just had two horses come off. Sang in a vortex, and then we've just had Wombat and TA come on. There is a very, very, very slim chance of Ormond. Oh, in fact, I don't think we need Ormond. Look at that. Nipperoo. He's a big lad as well, he just got, uh, got nipped. Oh, an actual smart parent keeping the kid back. <laughs> Even the horsey types, I think they can, uh, you know, pacify the horse. It's not happening. This is this is an older horse. Been in the in the H for a long time. I remember seeing this horse a lot last year. It's been a while since he's been back. Uh, but clearly, isn't in the mood for uh, overly amorous tourists. Beautiful light actually right now. Really, really nice and bright. 
big softie today, facially. So what do you mean a softie? Thing is, now everyone's seen other people getting nibs. They're going to be super reluctant to go forward. Which is uh, bad luck for us, but hey, there it is. So many of these parents have no clue how dangerous it could be. seem overly concerned, very curious. Oh, now he's after her scarf. I think he's more curious and inquisitive uh, than actively trying to hurt anyone, but you never know. He's not going for everyone. guys until we see one of the horses grab uh, an expensive lady designer bag uh, and munch a hole in it and watch them having a massive meltdown uh, and complaining that you know, the horse damaged my expensive bag. I predict that that will happen at some point this summer. <laughs> It's virtually inevitable. I mean, every other variable we've uh, wondered about has pretty much happened. So we're going to explain to this group about the black his words, black uniform with the blues and royals. And maybe if the uh, if the regiment decided to include the colour of their uniform in the in the regimental name, it might be easier for some tall guys to figure it out. I don't think. Oh, <laughs> it just draws out. I don't think uh, from what we've seen before with CA. And definitely with one bat, I don't think we're going to have uh, a meltdown. I don't think either the horse is going to have a problem. They're both experienced horses. They're both pretty passive, um, curious and playful, but not in any kind of bad way. That is how the police are super on it, watching the crowd. It's really nice and mild, today. Breezy, even though it's very, very nice and sunny and warm. Let's hope it stays like it. Okay, back with Wommers.
I'm just wondering how long she's going to stand there and just look at the horse. Just gaze lovingly at the horse. She's like, uh, we have better horses than this uh, back in Mexico. I don't see what the, all the fuss is about, I think, is what she's thinking. Look. I thought she's trying to guard the horse. <laughs> How long is too long, folks, do we think? For any personal group to stay in front of the horse? A minute? Do we think one minute is too long? <laughs> I'm sensing an outfit change, everyone. I think she's got uh, an evening dress and heels in her bag. Get ready for it. That wasn't actually uh, directed at me. You guys there was someone else with the same name standing next to me. Actually, guys, if she's still going to be here when the horse is asleep at half two uh, tonight. <laughs> Trying to speak to the trooper. It's good that he's uh, pretty much universally ignoring everyone. <laughs> Norita, come back. She's had enough. It's like I stood here for almost two hours and the horse didn't even speak to me. I can't believe it. Oh, the time jogging group. Boing, boing, boing. I don't think we quite caught that. He he went uh, to have a little bit of a snoop. He was wondering where the trooper had went, but he didn't go around far enough. I was wondering if actually he might have got shouted at. Anyway, it's good that we walked into the yard because right on time. Guess who's coming through the tunnel? Oh wow! Look, they look like twins. Oh, one of them wants to go into the stables here. Beautiful. I mean, really, really, really good looking horses, aren't they? Look at those tails. I'm not sure which hairdresser that they use for the, uh, the horses' tails, but wow. Very impressive. Gosh, I didn't realise there were so many lunchtime jogging groups, in fact, in central London. Uh, just as so we kind of think it's getting a little bit quiet, guys, uh, reinforcements are arriving. What I mean by that? I mean, look, that's the number of people <laughs> that are heading this way. Oops. 
sakes. I think what I'll do uh, before they all land. Oh god, I was just about to turn around thinking it was going to be quiet behind me. There's no doubt at all that the behaviour of TA is more interesting than Wombat. However, actually getting away near is, uh, is the problem. Some six foot five uh, ladies walking around today. The thing is, if no one's going to actually go near to him, uh, he's not going to be able to work his magic. And I think actually, because this horse is somewhat larger than the other horse. People come out of the gate, see him, and just don't want to get there anyway. Understandably, I mean it's great for the horse, but it's not great for us if nobody wants to uh, to show the horse some love. Oh, little Phyllis bro, straight over there. They're all standing here watching, but I don't want to risk it. I mean, do I blame them? Not really. So far, Chinese TikTokers, or yeah, actually, they use Du Yin, but it's the same thing. It's a, it's a Chinese TikTok. Uh, just standing there, uh, receiving lots of gifts, because obviously there is, as we've heard before from speaking to. Uh, to some of the people that used to be regulars here, there is a massive audience in China for uh, not just British history, architecture, royalty, but yeah, the King's Garden the horse as well. Massive, massive audience for that. It doesn't help with YouTube at all, because uh, obviously YouTube is inaccessible in China unless you're using a VPN. But for uh, Mandarin Chinese that have been able to install Duyin on their phones, gold mining. Okay, maybe I was wrong in fact. Combat is in a notorious too close mood. All over the, uh, all over the kit. Really, really, really interesting. I don't ever remember seeing uh, seeing wombas like this, folks. What could it be? I wonder. Toys for teeth, perhaps. It's ironic that literally 15 minutes ago, I'm standing here saying that uh, he is a uh, super chill, non-aggressive horse. This horse is never like this, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Guys, there's a new nipper in the house. In fact, did they restamp uh, all mons with, uh, with one bat's hoof number, I wonder? Actually, wait, let me just double, double, triple, quadruple check that I got the horse name right. I'm pretty sure I did. Guys, just 
I'm going to put that note again now. Okay, the his number is super clear. Yeah, 100%. It's definitely one that, there's no doubt at all. And 100% of the other end is TA. I don't know, maybe they're just not in the mood today. Maybe they've just uh, had too many people pouring them. Bear in mind, this is the Blues' second day. They arrived yesterday. We were here yesterday. Hard to know, to be honest. Now, that horse could be completely uh, chill for the next half an hour. Nothing could happen. Uh, and TA could go back to being a little nipper. The difference being that people are not really getting too close to him anymore. I don't like to stand, you know, unless it's all mom, the, the one exception. Uh, I don't typically, you know, like to stand uh, directly in front of one horse for the whole entire hour. Or one is probably the only exception, thinking about it. Maybe rather than sometimes. She's like stand there and get bitten. See, now I come to this end, they all stay back again. If by some miracle uh, they decide to uh, to chop and change and bring Ormond on, there will be a part two to this video and it will be noted in the, uh, in the video description. What I'm thinking is that because we had that issue with Sangin, the meltdown, I'm thinking it's almost guaranteed they're going to swap Sangin out after the changeover. This video won't reach as far as a changeover because it will take us way into 80 odd minutes. So I will only create a part two if they bring out a super interesting horse to replace Sangin. I'm 99% certain they will not uh, bring Sangin back out. Oh, even though the office is at the front, maybe something happened. Now bear in mind, they already kind of lost, as it were, Talisker yesterday. Uh, who was taken off after that meltdown. Sangin likely to have been taken off now for the rest of today at least. Actually permanently thinking about it because uh, the Blues are leaving tomorrow morning. So it's not as if they've got, you know, dozens more horses to choose from. It's interesting that Indiana, uh, who was out yesterday, and Kensington, thus far, neither have been back out. And that's actually kind of interesting because typically when we're here, uh, day one we'll see ex-horses and ex-boxmen. And the same horses are repeated on day two. But clearly the Blues have absolutely mixed it up. It's a very healthy flow of people out and about in the sunshine. See how this goes with, uh, <laughs> with the Jitsman. He's trying his hardest not to smile, the cheeky fellow. It's not a bit sunny, it's very sunny. It's exceedingly sunny. In fact, this is one of the best afternoons we've had for a good number of days. Relative peace in the yard, finally. Notice, however, guys, that as I mentioned yesterday, we're still not seeing the troopers doing their rounds at the front. I'm pretty sure there's been a kind of an edict. Uh, 
come down from London District to say that, you know, given the, f the fact that the terror threat is at its highest level, uh, it's a vulnerability for the troopers to be out of the front. That would be uh, my guess. It's by no means guaranteed, and that is my personal opinion. It's not official, unofficial. I haven't heard anything about it. It's all very, very hush hush. But that would, let's be honest, folks, that would make perfect sense. Bright sunny days, the troopers are standing in the uh, gloomy arches for the whole two hours. I'm sure they're not exactly over the moon about that. I think it's because the security or terror threat is at the highest level at the moment. So they're, they're just not moving. Yes, they didn't move once either. Yep, just standing there now permanently. No movement at all. Even going down there? Nope, nowhere. Just actually just not leaving the arch at all. Very strange. It went two hours standing over there where it's kind of cold and gloomy. Lovely polite tour guide. So none of his groups get bitten. The troopers pulled the horse right out into the middle of the street. It's completely out of the box. It's not that it's an absolutely massive 30 hands horse, guys. I'm now way behind the bollards and could just about fit the whole house, the horse in the frame. I almost said house then instead of horse. <laughs> yeah, could just about fit the entire body of the horse in the frame. There are the bollards in front of me. Going my normal, typically in front of them all, right in line with them. This is the horse is loving the sunshine. Breezy as well, this is the forelock blowing away. separate tour groups all mixed together. Those are two different guides. Anyone want a photo? They're like, yeah, we do, but not realizing that other people in the picture they even know strangers completely destroying the image.
Jules is back to his good old self, happy again. What I do like actually about the, uh, the two tall guys that we spotted a few minutes ago, they always, always take their group behind, like along the public highway. Which I, to be honest, I kind of like it. They do that because, yes, this is their work environment, but they know a lot of us and they know that we're filming here. Uh, today, not many of us, I think four of us. But I really appreciate the fact they do that uh, because unlike the uh, unmentionable uh, tour groups who just march their entire crew right along the middle, not caring less whether there's anyone filming. I mean, on the one hand, it is a public space, so everyone is allowed to stand and or film wherever they want, but... Right down this way, mate. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, right, chap, yeah. sorry. It's me walking past the, past the officer there, too, a bit too closely, miles away. Everyone has decided that as the horses are not playing ball, they're going. They've gone to the palace instead. They're going to go and harass the guards of Buckingham Palace. Look, Chitsman completely left alone. He's going to be like, why does no one want to talk to me? This is much better, actually. Kind of hoping it would be, uh, how do we say? A quietish afternoon whereby I'm able to stroll around without needing to worry. Now, either it's the way that I'm standing, or the chap that just had his picture taken was standing directly in front of the guard. And as he's taller than the guard, I think the guy taking his picture didn't even bother to tell him that, hey, I'm taking your picture, but I can't see the guard. Stick your tongue out. I'm a little disappointed. Um, there's nothing wrong with... Uh, you know, with someone sticking their tongue out, but there's a time and a place, folks. Am I right? I'm not completely sure this is it. Okay, let's see who's up next. telling the child that uh, he just stands there like that all day. Okay. Guys, there's got to be some kind of tall people convention in London. It's very rare that I'm walking around thinking, hold on a second, these people are super tall, but it's been going on all day since I got here. There's got to be some kind of a, a convention for tallies. And by tall, I mean six five, six six, six seven. Really tall people, lots of them. Mixture though, girls, guys, basketball tournament maybe, love them. It's a shame that the boxes, uh, the gates of the boxes are closed because uh, those views will be absolutely magnificent today. Really, sorry, chap. I was I was miles away. Sorry. Yeah, I know, but apologies. Sorry about that. Okay, they seem uh, they seem pretty happy. The toys, that is, and the horse. I'm really hoping the guard doesn't snooze and uh, sword falls off his shoulder. <laughs> this bro is uh, is frozen or a brozen. 
got to say where it wants to go. Everyone just decides to stop right in front of the camera. Tana. I'm not zoomed in folks, and it looks like I am, but I'm really not, I promise. So the horse is halfway across the middle of the pavement. If we count the, uh, the hairs of his nose at this rate. I think, folks, we will uh, finish up with TA. It looks like, by uh, some good fortune, the time was pretty much spot on. It's not going to rain, but the weather's turning. The sun's just vanished. Okay, luckily there is a little spot. It's playful to be more than aggressive. It's definitely not an aggressive ball. In fact, neither of them are, to be, uh, to be completely honest. Okay, we've got a view into the yard. And uh, as if it were not perfect, the timing. These two, wow. Yeoman, I think, closest to us. Yeah, that's Yeoman. Recognize those big cloppy dinner plate feet anywhere. I mean, that's kind of, uh, kind of appropriate and spot on. It's getting busy again. I'm going to wait, folks, um, to see if they bring Ormond out on the next change. If there is uh, Ormond to return, it's 50-50. Uh, there'll be a part two. So look in the uh, video description to see if it says this is part one. If it doesn't say it's part one, uh, this will be the only part. It will still be part one, this won't be. There will be a conclusion. Uh, so I might be back shortly, folks. But if not, I will be back real soon. Bye for now.